Right around Cranston, standing by, we do have a tropical storm, a named storm out there right now we've got to think about. Hello, Lauren. Hey, it's pretty crazy to think that already we are unseating some of 2020's records. E Elsa, the fifth named storm, the earliest E named storm on record, at least for the satellite era, when we could name these things far out to sea, right? Uh, wind sustained of 40 miles per hour. It is expected to gradually increase as it quickly races toward the west. Now, faster moving systems would actually be good news because they're not able to soak up all that energy and uh, build and intensify as easily as what a slower moving system would be. The faster solution would lead to what the European model is showing and the slower solution would show what our American model is showing, kind of along the lines of this cone here, which I know is probably having you wake up a little faster this morning. But what I'll say is this can and will change. It always does, especially uh, this time of year with things still very early to see something like this. Uh, what the July climatology tells us is that storms typically recurve, uh, but when and where it makes that turn is going to be the big question. Now I'm going to show you this future cast, but just keep it in the back of your mind that this is next week. So so this will change and also this is just one model run of several that we get during the day. You look for those tight circles, right? And there is Elsa on the GFS model moving up over Cuba and then heading into the Gulf of Mexico, impacting us sometime by mid to late next week. Now the European model, a completely different situation, keeping a much weaker system, not even a closed low, staying more than 300 miles off of our coast as early as Monday or Tuesday next week. So the timing, the intensity the track all up to question what I can tell you is we'll get showers and storms here locally today. Those temperatures going to be